Hi everyone, it's Marina. I'm here to do a project share with you. Today I'm going to share a tag with you that I made for my um, project and um, I will have a list of the products I used below. I used four of them and I'll have the codes down there um, at the bottom of the description box. So, um, for the background of the tag, I did a lot of um, distressing and I guess layering instead, not really stenciling. I did a little bit, but, um, so, um, the distress inks that I used were forest moss, ground espresso, and I used mustard seed. And I also used, uh, some Tim Holtz paper for my, for my, uh, stash, and I layered it on there. So first I did some distressing, then I layered on the paper. Uh, I did some stamping in the back, and I used a Tim Holtz, what is it? I'm not sure which one it is. It's Tim Holtz Reflections, I think, and I did the, I did that in the background, and I went over it, because I used the, I used a Distress Ink for my stamping ink, and on this part, in the back. So I went over it with Tim Holtz Micro Glaze, and I let that dry, and then I layered on the paper, um... And I used Ranger's Matte Medium, and I just went over it, and then I also, um, I distressed it with all these, uh, distress inks here, and I had the yellow in the center, and I went with the forest moss, and then on the outside is the ground espresso. And then I took a Tim Holtz, uh, die cut dress form that I got in my, got as a gift, and I, uh, glimmer mist, not glimmer misted it, I inked it with some of my own sprays. And I took these metal piece leaves, these metal leaves here, and I patinaed them. And I used these patinas right here. I used ruby and petalite, which actually is really pretty. And I also, I didn't just use these directly. I also, uh, I um, diluted them with some, um, what is that called? The glaze the patina glaze. And so I um, went over it. And then after I did that, I buffed the metal and then I just layered them on so it would be like a little dress. I've never actually done a dress form before so it was really fun. And I put some leaves on here and underneath, or not leaves, sorry, flowers. And under the flowers are some of the, oh, I'm just gonna move this. Under the flowers are some of the metals. Some of these which I flattened out and then I put them on. And then I use a little bit of liquid pearls, dimensional paint, and I put them, I put it right here, and I use some stickles and went around the edge. I also did a little bit of uh, stenciling down here at the bottom and up here in the corner with, uh, what is it, the honeycomb stencil by Tim Holtz, and I did some, I used the um, crackle texture paste, so it's all crackled and I like the way it looked, and I did some stamping up here in the corner. So, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I sewed this part right here. I ended up covering most of it with part of the dress form, but um, I what I did was I took some wax linen thread and I dipped it in some perfect pearls, the pink the pink color, because I was hoping the perfect pearls would stick to the thread, and it did. I just rubbed it in, and so um, I just sewed that through over here. And that's about it. So I guess if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section and then I'll answer them for you as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.